Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. So it's uh, me and Mike today. We're going to talk about forming, joining a band. Apparently, this was one of the FAQs that you and Jimmy had, Mike. Is this right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm really pleased that people are asking that question because mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's a really, really um, something that's very close to my heart, and I know that it's close to yours as well. And um, often I think that people think that you need to be like a really, really good standard to play in a band. And um, certainly some experiences that I've had in the past where I've I've spoken to students and I've said, um, oh, you know, have you got any ambitions to, to form a band? And, and sometimes there are students that will have been playing for two or three years. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not good enough yet. And, you know, they're good, they're, they're good players. And um, I think sometimes people think that they just need to keep playing in their bedroom and, until they get to some kind of um, mystical level where they suddenly go, right, now I'm good enough to, to play in a band. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't really work like that, does it? So, no, not um, at all. Hey Gemma. So, Mike, I thought it would be interesting to to ask you first because I know that you are playing. Like, you have a main band that you play in, but I know that you've also played in lots of bands in the past. So, I wanted to find out about your journey. Really, um, what came first for you? Learning guitar, or, or 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 sorry, I'll rephrase that. What came first for you? Wanting to play guitar or wanting to play in a band? Oh, oh! I never thought about that. I think it was wanting to play guitar because of I, I was I wasn't super young, but I was about eleven when I started playing, and we had a guitar player come to school and perform for us, and mm. I just thought that that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. So then I just wanted to do that, and it yeah. it didn't occur to me the idea of uh, wanting to be in a band didn't occur to me in, until I started listening to music and listening to bands, and then realizing oh, if you've got a few people playing together then it's even more awesome than just playing by yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. How, about, how about you? Was it always a uh, band first or? Well, I think it, I formed my first band at primary school. Wow. <laughs> with my best friend, Kerry Neath, that I'm still in touch with. She's not my best friend anymore. We're still, we're still good, <laughs> good friends. We were best friends when we were kids. Yeah. And um, she was having piano lessons and I was having guitar lessons. And um, we just both loved, loved um, music. And so I'm, I can't remember what came first, whether it was playing guitar or being in a band. But I do know that, you know, I, I listened to a lot of music as a kid. I was exposed to a lot of music as, as a kid. So I think both playing guitar and being in a band were very much like a natural mm. progression for mm. me yeah, um, and yeah we yeah we 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 formed our first band when we were like i don't know nine or ten or something That's and amazing. obviously we were we were pretty rubbish but we we loved it and it and it was just like um it's like being in a I, I've, I've said this before um it's like being in a gang you know mm. but like a really cool cool gang that's that's doing fun fun stuff and not, yeah. not not getting up to mischief so yeah. i've kind of had that throughout my life really <laughs> great no it's really good but it also makes me think because my i was totally different because of um i i didn't play in any kind of band until um i was 16 17 and because of because i was like that then it was um i really felt like I felt super, super, super nervous because I'd never played my guitar in front of anyone before, yeah. and um, and it was it was a real problem at first because of I, I I actually got into college uh, to do music uh, before I did my first gig, and uh, I was uh, I was close to quitting um, I was quite close to quitting the college and um, not thinking about guitar again because I was so scared and because um, we all have these kind of beliefs that people are just one way or the other. And I thought, well, if I'm the kind of person who's this scared, then maybe this whole thing isn't for me. It really isn't for me. And uh, but I was I was super brave there, and I was really really scared. And the first few performances, I was I was scared, but it got easier and easier and easier every time. And now it's not a problem at all, at all. Um, mm. So it's just practice. But that's that's one of the things. Like without going on to the G4 group lessons, really, 
uh, too much. That's one of the things I love about group lessons because yeah. ev everyone learning guitar this way is um, learning, even though you don't know, you, even though you don't think about it, you are performing in front of people. When I say to someone, "Can you, uh, you know, unmute yourself and lead this one?" You are playing to six people, which I yeah. never had when I was sixteen. <laughs> I was, yeah. I just played to my mum and my guitar teacher, and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that's, I think that's the route um, a lot of people go down, isn't it? It's just like, well. I'm going to I'm going to learn guitar or learn or learn any instrument I have private lessons so you just play in front of your teacher mm. and then yeah like if if your mum's lucky you might play in front of of her but you know even even that can be can be tricky yeah. um and I do yeah I do remember like playing playing with other people um was something that I really enjoyed um, and came really naturally to me, even though I was pretty much having private guitar lessons. To mm. me, it was like an extension of my mm. of my lessons. Mm. Um, but the performing thing that was a whole different different kettle of fish. I mean, yeah. I, like like you, um, I remember my my early gigs just being absolutely petrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, thinking well. I really want it like like I didn't have the same doubts as you. I didn't think, oh, I may not be any good at this, so I'm not going to do it. I just remember thinking, well, I really want to do this, so I'm just going to get on with it because, um, you know, eventually you get, you do get over it. But it, it you know, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody who said, oh, like from the first time being on on stage, unless they're really really extrovert. I've never met anybody yeah. who's been like, oh yeah, you yeah, know, I, I, you know, I don't get any any stage fright or any any. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> so, just, yeah, so go. On. Um, well, yeah. So now I was I was going to ask, um, what advice would you give to anybody now who's maybe been playing for a year or two, um, who you know. Um, about what they should be thinking about um, when they when they want to form form a band or they want to join a band. I I think the f for the I I think especially for the younger students, but um, for everyone really, uh, because of like having a band with three or four or five people is something that is really really tricky to arrange to begin with. Um, so and if you can make that happen and that's your first experience of playing with other people that is absolutely awesome and just do it mm. but uh for me like even before i thought about playing in a band uh, i had some really positive experiences with a friend of mine who also played guitar and we at the on summer holidays we used to go around each other's house once or twice a week and play the guitar together and so kind of like it started jamming with one other person because of that that can be a really good start way to start a band as well because of you know if 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 both of you actually really like playing with each other then really all you have to do if you want a kind of a classic rock band is to find someone who can do, do the drums and then yeah. it's a really yeah really easy yeah. way into it and I, I would say for these experiences as well it's um uh, something that i wasn't good at which i wish i did and i wish someone said to me is is be be quite good with chords and with soloing because of my friend was quite good with chords and improvising with the pentatonic scale and I was just good at improvising with the pentatonic so it, it wasn't fair at all because he was he was like he was always doing the chords and I was always doing the solos and then sometimes I felt like yeah he wanted to do some stuff and I couldn't do any chords so, uh, yeah, yeah I, actually I yeah I remember um, a girl at school being bit being like that um, actually I used to have guitar lessons with her and the first thing she learned was the pentatonic scale mm. so but she didn't know any any chords so I would be um, I would be the only one kind of playing playing the chords and she'd just be going up and down the scale and it would sound mm. great but there was no way we could swap yeah <laughs> so, yeah. yeah yeah cool um, so what would you say and there are many of these what would you say would be the benefits of um, joining or forming a band for our students or for anybody really? Yeah, well, you know, it, it, I, I say all the things that it's given me in terms of playing in the band and it, it's a lot and it's maybe a, an excessive list but if you can get any one of these things from, from playing in a band then it's, it's worth doing it because of, at first it was really um, 
having like that kind of gang mentality where you're a proper team and like you meet up all the time and there's a really positive reason for getting in touch and hanging out and then with that came being creative as well it was like a real new and beautiful way for me to make things with and make things with other people and then and you know as the years went went on that turned into kind of gigging and through gigging um having all these experiences like meeting new people and then um you know, we we got to the stage where we moved to we got a record deal with a small record label in Austria, so we moved to Austria for a year uh, to record an album. Yeah, so that was a cool life experience. And then you know, I made loads. And, and then you met your girlfriend. Yeah, I met my girlfriend of thirteen years now. So. Well, there you go. So, yes. so, <laughs> so that, it, that came from being in a band. All of these things, and and yeah. it, it, you know, if you trace it back now, but as far as all the things that I've got from being in a band uh, are now, it's like you know, I could. I've got friends all over the world now. Really, I've, I haven't really done many gigs outside of England, but I, you know, I could go to New York and have a place to stay and some friends there, and mm. I could go to Australia and have a place to stay. And really, like, I'm not saying every country or anything, but loads of places around the world and in the UK, so many friends, and um, yeah, and it's just, and also this job as well, because if, if if I if I wasn't in a band, I wouldn't have taken the guitar as seriously as I have. Mm. And then it's enabled me to um, uh, have this job as well, which I love and love meeting all the people as well and all the students. And like mm. I, I know most people uh, who are, who have lessons with me don't know this, but I, I had an office job for five years before I had this job. And, I, you know, it's, it's not for everyone and it wasn't for me. And I absolutely hated it. And it was a really, really tough time for me. And mm. then coming out of that and then through being in a band, able to get this job, which is like perfect really really in yeah. every single way in every single way yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent yeah no i mean i i i completely agree it's and i think especially for kids as well you know they're in front of screens a lot and probably a lot more than usual at the moment mm. um you can meet up with six other people right well that's a band yeah um, one. <laughs> at least yeah 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 um so i don't know if you're back rehearsing with uh, Chris are you at the moment yeah we're back we're back rehearsing now and we have been since it uh, the lockdown got eased and yeah again yeah. you know what this gives to me is that that was a that was the only reason I had I've still got for a while to leave the house yeah I, I know you know going out of the house to do nice things uh, is is something I still am doing but actually that thing in this strange world we're living in an actual physical reason to have to go out of the house is still something special by itself for me because mm. I, I miss going getting on the train to come to Croydon to teach yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's also been so nice going and seeing someone else and going somewhere as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah and and I've had a similar um experience I'm in a band with um Catherine and her boyfriend so yeah when when they eased um restrictions obviously it's, it's only the three of us two, two two households so we could we could meet up and that's been awesome like that first rehearsal that we had um you know w was just so lovely because mm. it was like, oh wow you know I actually get to get to do this again um but yeah like it's 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 great for connection um it's great for just feeling like you're a part of something mm. and and again to go back to our group lessons i think that that's kind of like a similar vibe um that i would that that i would kind of want us to try and cultivate i mean it's a little bit harder online but definitely um i think that the connection certainly some of the um comments that I've had from people is that they've really appreciated the online lesson because it keeps that connection going and um, yeah it's even it's even more so when you get to actually meet up with people yeah. and jam but just this whole thing about being creative and exploring as well because um, I don't know about you Mike but my less my actual guitar lesson experience when I was growing up was quite patchy mm. like I had um, I had my original classical teacher at primary school, then I switched to electric guitar, um, and um, and then I, you know, I I had another teacher teaching me electric guitar. Then I didn't have lessons for a for a few years. Um, but a lot of the stuff that I learned and that I know now came more from that experience of playing with other people and being mm. creative, and. Um, 
you know, someone would show me something, you know, someone would show me like a new chord that I didn't know or a new way of using a scale or, um, yeah, just you can kind of pick up so many things from, from not, not only other guitar players but other, other musicians. Um, so when you're in a band, you start to get to understand how other instruments work. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just, I'm just in the middle of editing, actually, the, uh, the, the Facebook Live that you did with Jimmy a few, a few weeks ago where you were playing along to drum tracks and you were talking about how playing along to the drum track gave you the different groove to playing mm. along with a, with a metronome. Um, that's the kind of thing that it, it's, it's very difficult to, to teach, but it's the kind of thing that you sort of pick up just from, mm. just from being around other people, other, other musicians. Um, and yeah, you get to be kind of creative, you get to experiment, and you get to basically put all of these skills that you're learning um, into this um, new context, and um, yeah, it's 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 kind of where all the where all the fun is really, mm. because obviously you know we need the lessons to learn the instrument, you know, in the in the first place. But this yeah, this is where we really get to actually have some have some fun with it and do and do the fun stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I, I really think um, that thing as well of um, jamming, jamming with people and not necessarily say we're starting a band, but meet, yeah. up, meet up with people to have a jam and just like make some music and do whatever. It, I've, I've probably, in 20 years, I've probably done about five jams and every single time I've done one uh, with a different uh, person, there's always, I feel like I've improved six months worth of um, practice. Uh, at home by myself in an instant after one day the next day and yep. uh, so it's kind of crazy to me that I don't do it all the time because it's, <laughs> it's something I know that I should do all the time because of every time yeah. and every time a new guitar teacher has, has, has joined as well it's like if I would get a lesson where no one shows or something or we got a break playing guitar with them feels the same like yeah. and it doesn't matter if uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter if they're much better than you or not as good as you all these everyone does things differently and everyone I've always found that everyone can do at least a couple of things that I can't do always yeah, yeah. really definitely. really really yeah. yeah and also kind of kind of going back to what I was saying um, earlier about how like you don't need to be this amazing musician I think when I formed my first band back when I was I don't know eight or nine right I I, I knew how to play I think Two chords, maybe nice. three. Um, e, A, and maybe B seven. I I seem to think. Well, I guess they would work together in a key. Yeah, right? That's good. Yeah. B seven. So they were the only chords I knew. So they were the only chords that we would that we would be able to to write songs with. And we didn't know. We didn't know anything about music theory. We didn't. You know, I, I didn't. I couldn't say to my to my friend who was playing the piano, oh, you know, we're playing this in the key of G major or, you know, whatever, because she wouldn't have a clue and neither would I. But we just used to kind of muck around and see what, what, what worked. And then I remember really clearly getting like the A chord and kind of moving it up the neck and thinking, oh, can I get this, can I get a nice sound? Like, where does this sound nice? Oh, actually, that sounds okay there. That one doesn't sound so nice, you know. And just kind of doing this, doing this kind of thing, and then oh, thinking, oh, great, I can do that with the A chord. Maybe I can do it with the E chord. And just kind of coming up with all this stuff that you don't necessarily get taught, but that you you find just from experimenting mm, and yeah. um, you know. Figuring so, it out. Well, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking about that before you said it about moving the chord because I even, <laughs> even though when I went to college uh, I did no more chords than just E major. That the first song I wrote at college with other people was uh, just taking this shape and moving it around like that. It was just that. That was like the whole thing. So it's like you know, <laughs> even though I even though I did no more chords, that was a song with one chord. Fine. Yeah, and like, yeah, and you don't know what the names of those chords. I, no. I, I think I made up the name for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I moved the A chord up to one of the frets. I said, "Oh, I'm going to call this chord 
something crazy, you know, that, uh, that an eight-year-old would... Uh, like an A5, a because you move yeah, it to the so fifth row. I, I think... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, something, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I would... I would I would definitely recommend it. I, you know, um, and it's 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 just a great way to um, connect with other people. And also, like I found a lot as well that um, you know it it builds things like um, cooperation, um, you know, diplomacy. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. everyone's been in that that. It, that experience where you want to get rid of a band member and like who gets given the job of telling them that they're not in the band anymore, you know, all that, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, and, um, and, 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 and just kind of navigating people and, 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 um, yeah, like having to kind of communicate with, with, with people, not just musically. I mean, every, and again, everyone's been in a band where, you know, there's always one member who's incessantly late for everything you know and 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 you know it, it can it can turn into a bit of a bit of a riot so yeah like um there's all of these other skills that kind of come in come into play as well mm -hmm. oh jimmy's just joined us hey, rule yeah, of jimmy. six could be a good a, a good band name says uh, ruben <laughs> <laughs> well there you go ruben that's, that's the name yours. for your first band rule of six make it happen <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and yeah, the only other thing I wanted to say as well, which, and I think this would probably be true for you as well, Mike, um, I talked a little bit about how you get to understand how other instruments work. So, you, you know, as a guitar player, you get to instinctively hear the difference between the bass drum and the snare drum and what beats mm. they come on and that, and that kind of helps with your rhythmic playing, definitely. I mean, it really, really, really helps you stay in time. But also, I started playing bass because there were lots of guitar players that I knew um, and the band that I was in needed a bass player and I basically said, well, okay, it, it was either that or I wasn't in the band. So I mm. said, well, okay, then I'll play, I'll play bass. And um, I think my brother was learning at that point and he had like a really cheap, cheap one, which I just borrowed off him. And um, yeah, and... And so then I kind of, like, it was from being in a band that then got me into playing playing bass mm. as well. And then all of a sudden you've got another, you've got another instrument that, that you can play. And I remember my music teacher at school saying to me, there's a, <laughs> there's a world shortage of bass players. You'll never be short of a band to be in if you, if you yes. play bass. And <laughs> I still remember that, so it must have stuck. Yeah, absolutely. I was the same at college. Um, there were two guitar players, uh, me and another person, and we both played guitar and then we could play a bit of bass. Well, we were kind of forced to because we had to switch. One was on guitar, yeah. one was on bass, uh, Every yeah. everything. And yeah, and, and you know, in, in terms of like tips for people kind of like joining bands as well, like I, I know people have had a uh, have had success with posting things online and meeting people that way but it's been it's been my experience that um, the best way is through meeting people kind of through actually doing some gigs as well so if you you know even if you want to have a band uh, you know to go out and sing songs just acoustically so you can start meeting people is a really yeah. really good way to do it and, and being able to play the bass as well I've I've, I've made some good friends uh, because of I wanted someone to play in a band that I was starting and he asked me if I could sub his band on bass and I went and did that and I made a bunch of really good friends from being able to do that as well. Yeah, so it's yeah, yeah it's absolutely. good skill. Yeah, and a lot of it does come from existing friendships as mm. well. So the band that I was in as a teenager, we weren't all great musicians at the time and if I remember rightly I think the bass player joined I don't think she could play the bass before before she joined the band she joined because we needed a bass player and mm. she and she was in the gang so it was like well okay you can you can play bass <laughs> and, and loads then, of people start that way yeah. as well really really do yeah. still yeah <laughs> yeah so um it yeah and and also the thing about um like if you're a bit apprehensive about 
you know, the thought of playing with three or four other people, um, then even just getting together, as you said, with just one other person mm. and having a jam, or maybe getting together with a singer and accompanying them while mm. they while they sing, like that also, like you're going to be picking up similar um, similar skills just from just from doing that, and then you can use that as a transition to meeting other people and mm. you know putting putting something a bit more concrete together. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Um, Jimmy, I think Jimmy's talking about uh, your bandmates being late. He says, lie, lie to your bandmates and tell them practice starts an hour earlier than it actually does. Yes. <laughs> that yeah, worked yeah. for me. Yep. Oh, yeah, we tried Done that. that before, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, I still do that with my brother these days. <laughs> I want my brother to be anywhere. I always tell him, always tell him it's an hour and then I know he'll be on time. Nice. Cool. Um, I don't know, yeah, I, I think that was everything. I'll probably think of a whole bunch of other stuff once we finish this mic. I don't know whether there was anything else that you um, could think of, but I'm pretty much... Oh, well, I was just thinking of, because this is like kind of the reasons to start bands, and this could be a whole other uh, kind of video we could do, but um, just like a, a tip for if someone, because I know we've got some students who have met people who they're jamming with, and at the point where maybe they want to get some gigs and start performing and doing things like that, um, like my advice would be, especially you know in and around London, it it can be tricky because you can end up getting gigs with um, promoters who there are types of promoters who uh, just put on 50 gigs a week and they don't care who comes, they don't promote it, they don't try and get anyone to to come. What they do is they just say we take all the door money for the first 20 people and then you take a pound per person afterwards or something right, like right. that. And um, and you know i really don't like it and it's it's not useful because what happens is you have a band and all their friends come and then their friends leave and then there's a totally different type of band from their friends come so you don't actually kind of yeah it, no one experiences your music no new people so um like a really good way to uh, avoid that would be to you know i know it's this is something for when the venues open again but uh, to to have a place where you can maybe maybe book a venue and and book some bands in that you like and run your own night. You know it might yeah. it it might be a chance that someone's going to have to fund maybe a hundred quid or something in case it, no one turns up. But um, it it's it's really really the best way because then you you're meeting people and you know having a bit of a community and uh, yeah. to and just the other thing I say on this about if you're starting out is to um, you you have to know what kinds of bands like you like a similar vibe there are in the area and in the country as well and we never did that when we were in our 20s really and um or teenagers and uh like the best way to do it for me now is because I've, I've done it for someone else is to say to them you know who's your favorite band at the moment and if they say i don't know queens of the stone age or something i'll go well let's let's go and look at their tours that they've done in the uk and let's let's have a look at all the bands who have supported them on tour, uh, and then um, yeah. and they're, and they're going to be too high a level for you right now. But then go on their tour and see who supported them, and keep going until you find like a community of or a group of bands who have toured the band, who have toured with the band, who have toured with the band <laughs> that you want to tour with, and then and then go go to their gigs and watch them, and then see yeah. how it works, see see what the promoter does, and what you have to do to. Uh, get the promoter your songs to consider putting you on and all these yeah. things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is this is a whole other topic, yeah, isn't yeah, it, yeah, Mike? Yeah, yeah. And, um, um, I mean, it, it, the last time I was in a kind of serious gigging band was probably over 20 years ago, so I imagine things have changed a lot <laughs> since since then but uh, yeah but uh, but i do remember actually we did used to put our own our own nights nights on probably oh. for exactly the reason that you mentioned mm. because then you end up with a little community of bands who all like each other who all it's not just bands that don't know each other turning up and their mates you know bus bus loads of their mates coming in and then leaving immediately i mean we've all done gigs like yeah like that because then yeah then um if everybody's there supporting each other then you know your band gets some new fans mm. your the other bands you know hopefully some of your fans will like them i mean I, you know i've watched some good bills that you guys have been on and um i know that your band you normally do something every summer don't you which i'm guessing you haven't done this yeah year. Not yeah we, version or anything 
Yeah, we couldn't do it this year, obviously, because of the pandemic. But um, it it would I think it would have been the sixth year this year. So it's been about um, yeah about five years. It's at the Wimmer in Brixton, and uh, I think the last great venue. I love it. Yeah, yeah. and the, the last two years, he said it was like the busiest day he had in August. Uh, there, great. yeah, we had about well, we sold it out every time. Um, so it's about 120 people there and a barbecue, and usually do on average about 10 bands, mm -hmm. and it's 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 amazing because if we have bands coming from all over the country and then we um um you know and there's a real community there and people are getting excited to play it and and we're still like uh you know we're still a bit sneaky about it as well because we always put ourselves at the best slot before the last band and then so that everyone's still feeling fresh and then <laughs> and then also we make sure that the band after us is is a band who we like genuinely admire and we've you know we've we've contacted um by now like bands who are kind of heroes of ours since we were kids who mm. have then come and played uh, after us so it's like a band i dreamed about supporting then playing after uh, after us yeah that's amazing and of course it's much i mean you can do that now with the magic of the internet can't you yeah. it's much easier to get in touch with people it's it's much easier to find that fan base and that community mm. and the people who are into the same music as, as you as well you know back in my day I used to have to wait for the melody makers to come out every Wednesday that was that was it for me <laughs> god I'm so old yeah. anyway on that note <laughs> I, <laughs> <Me> think, <too. laughs> I, think we'll, I think we'll leave it there but uh, yeah I hope that was useful for those of you who who were watching and I am going to get a bunch of these. I know I've got a backlog of these to get up onto YouTube. That's my project for next week. Now I've got my backlog of everything else done. Um, and also just really quickly, um, if anybody would like to be interviewed on these, oh, my Amazon package has been delivered. Um, if, any, if anybody would like to be in, interviewed on future episodes of these, um, similar to what we did with Catherine and Arian, um, I would really like to interview you and just find out about your reasons for playing guitar what you would like to do um, and also you know if you have anything prepared that you'd like to play as well that's optional but again it's a good way of playing in front of people then do 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 get in touch because I'd love to have a few I'd I'd love to have some of our students involved in these, as lovely as it is you seeing us every week. Um, I, I think it would be really lovely to, um, yeah, to get some more students involved, just so you, you can kind of find out a little bit more about each other and why you're learning and, yeah, and then you never know, there might be some collaborations that come out of that. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll leave it there then for today. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. It was fun. It was fun. It's always yeah. fun. I can talk about this for a lot longer. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later, guys. Thank you very much.